Lighthouse says the oil slick in the Gulf of Mexico is now the biggest environmental disaster in United States history. Officials believe the leak could now continue until August. It comes after BP's latest attempt to stem the flow of oil failed last night. President Barack Obama says he will not relent until the disaster is brought under control, as David Willis reports from Washington. Still belching into the sea at the rate of 500,000 gallons a day. BP's latest effort to stem the flow of oil was a technique known as top kill, which involved bombarding the ruptured well with mud, tires and even golf balls in an attempt to overwhelm the spill. It failed. These re repeated pumping, we don't believe, uh, will likely achieve success. So at this point, it's time to move to the next option. That's a huge blow for the local community and for the White House as workers renewed their mopping up operations in the marshlands around Louisiana. President Obama said Topkill's failure was as enraging as it was heartbreaking and his energy advisor warned it could be months before the leak is stemmed. This is probably the biggest environmental disaster we've ever faced in this country. It's certainly the biggest oil spill and we're responding with the biggest environmental response. Their new plan is this. First, the site is prepared using underwater robots and hydraulic cutters. Then a pipe is lowered from a ship above the spill to cap the leak, enabling oil to be pumped up to the surface and away from the ocean. But BP says it's uncharted territory, like doing open heart surgery on camera a mile under the sea. We want to find out why this has happened. The whole world will change as a result of this in the industry so that it never happens anywhere again. The White House acknowledged today that the flow of oil into these waters may not be stemmed until August, when work on two relief wells is due to be complete. In the meantime, there are certain to be plenty of questions about the future of deep water drilling off America's coastline. David Willis, BBC News, Washington. Well, our correspondent Andy Gallagher is on the Louisiana coast for us now. Andy, the uh, next steps that BP is going to try, what chance of success do you think? Well, engineers are essentially fumbling around in the dark here once again. None of these procedures have been tried before. This one is both risky and dangerous. Now, experts are in general agreement that those relief wells are the best chance to stop this oil leak. An oil leak that's got something like 40 million gallons out there, a simply unfathomable amount of oil. Now, those relief wells, as you heard in David's report, won't be ready for something like two months, which takes us to August, potentially, 